Dinosaurs have been extinct for 65 million years. But in the jungles of Central America, there's a world still inhabited by prehistoric-looking reptiles. With the sunrise, they stir. Green iguanas, dressed up with artificial helmets and extra scales, were once cast as dinosaurs in B-movies. They're not, in fact, direct descendants of the dinosaurs, but even so, some scientists now believe that the social lives of the modern iguanas may show us how the dinosaurs behave. This jungle has a black lagoon, and in the center is an island, the starting point of these iguanas' epic story. After three months buried in their eggs, baby green iguanas burst out ready to go. We know from fossils that some baby dinosaurs hatched from communal nests, but what happened next? First, the guana babies dig their way up to the surface. Instantly alert, they emerge into a dangerous world. Hundreds break out from different clutches over several days. Instead of striking out alone, the babies form peer groups, unexpected behavior for primitive reptiles. They taste each other, forging social bonds that may help them survive a risky start. One iguana takes the lead, the others follow. They need to get to cover urgently. Here, their green color is no camouflage. The basilisk lizard, a flesh eater like prehistoric T. rex, here to intercept the passing herd. Dramas like this, between reptile, predator and prey, have been played out for millions of years. Like T-Rex, the basilisk runs down his quarry on strongly muscled back legs. Instinctively, the babies head for water. Their scaly feet trap air bubbles that act like stepping stones, so they can literally walk on water. This is just the first of many dangers that threaten the babies. The next is starvation. There's not enough food on the island. To find food and shelter, they'll have to swim for it across the Black Lagoon.
In the mainland jungle, adult green iguanas roam the treetops. It seems a precarious lifestyle for such heavyweights, nearly two meters long and weighing up to 13 and a half kilos. And yet they spend much of their lives balancing 30 meters or more above the ground. These claws may look as if they're made for ripping flesh, but they're not meat hooks. They're grappling irons. In the movies, green iguanas often played fearsome, meat-eating dinosaurs, but in real life, they're strictly vegetarian. Iguanas made it big by eating up their greens, just like the extinct plant-eating dinosaurs. But sheer size is not enough to keep the carnivores at bay. Birds are descended from dinosaurs. Their scaly feet and talons betray their ancestry. A migrating red-tailed hawk is strong enough to snatch an adult green iguana from the canopy. But green iguanas have exceptional eyesight and acute hearing. And there's a reason why they like to hang out above water. Iguanas are the ultimate base jumpers. By inflating their lungs to cushion the impact, and thanks to an incredibly tough hide, they can free fall 30 meters. Like its movie look-alike, Godzilla, it's surprisingly at home underwater. Its skin is watertight, and this long tail, used as a counterbalance in the canopy, becomes a powerful propeller. But the green iguana has yet another escape strategy, as extraordinary as anything in the movies. It can slow down its heart rate, saving oxygen and holding its breath for up to 40 minutes. Long enough for danger up above to pass. the surface, it refills its lungs. Giant reptiles still patrol the waterways. Crocodilians have hardly changed since their ancestors hunted dinosaurs. Talons above and teeth below. For now, the treetops seem a safer bet. Most of the babies have survived their crossing and arrive en masse to explore the mainland. <laughs> 